So let's start chapter one, Legionomics. Blockchain technology is ledger technology. And to, in order to understand a blockchain, properly understand how it works and the systematic consequences, you need to know the basics. And the basics are as starters and ledgers. We will discuss the other basics in the other chapters, but this one is uh, very important and often neglected. Realize that we will mainly uh, use a systematic approach. So we will learn or we will teach you how to think in systems instead of rehearsing stuff. That's, that means that we will show you concepts and we will explain you the thought processes behind the concepts which is sometimes a more academic approach and applied approach. So therefore we also added some learning goals where you need to apply this stuff in real life. So in your own life, but for example, sometimes use it as well. So systematic thinking is important during this mind. So what will we discuss as you might have glitched uh, or glimpsed already is of course, we start with the concept of ledger. What is it? Why is it important? What history does it have? And very interesting is that in the third paragraph, you will also see why ledgers are so important. Every time a ledger upgrades, history seems to kick or jumpstart into a next era as well. Eventually, we do a small uh, sneak peek into the future, looking at the perfect ledger. And you will see that uh, neither a blockchain or a centralized or decentralized ledger uh, is a perfect ledger. We are far away from the perfect ledger. So regarding centralized ledgers and their problems, um, that's done in five and six, seven and eight do, do the exact same thing with uh, decentralized ledgers. We will focus on one of the problems from the eighth paragraph, a famous problem, problem called the Byzantine general problem. And eventually we will compare these centralized and decentralized ledger categories with each other. Important to realize in that regard, and that's already a key takeaway, is that there is no right or wrong. Sometimes a centralized ledger is better suited, and sometimes you need an open public ledger, which is decentralized. Of course, we do have a, a preference for the decentralized ledger. We mainly emphasize on the decentralized versions in this course, because you're watching the blockchain course, which is an open public and often decentralized ledger. But, but that's mainly because we think the most interesting stuff is currently happening, happening in the decentralized realm. And the challenges and the world uh, changes will come from decentralized ledgers because centralized ledgers have been around for many uh, thousands of years, as you will see. And um, we are pretty much uh, done with them in education. Let's dive into the new realm, decentralized ledgers. And that's what this course is all about. A final note is that every time you will see a new chapter, you will see the learning goals. Um, behind the learning goals, you will see the verb that will explain how you will um, acquire that learning goal. So it's describing is related to understanding, reflecting is related to analyzing, etc. Evaluate to evaluate, uh, which is described here um, if you want to learn more about the didactical component. Other than that, you might be able to ignore it. But this, of course, is an important slide. This is why you're all doing this stuff. So by the end of chapter one, reflect on these different learning goals and check whether you are ready for the lift off for next chapter. So enjoy and uh, see you in a bit.